Hi, my name is Sarah Thompson. I have an acoustic neuroma and facial paralysis. I'm making this video because um, I really wanted to keep wearing my makeup and for those of you with facial paralysis, you know that having to put lacquer loop in our eye uh, pretty much makes putting on eye makeup useless. Um, I have found over the years, because it's been almost five years, um, some tips and tricks that help me. So I know that I tried to look all over the web for any kind of suggestions and couldn't find any. So this video is to help anyone that's struggling to put on makeup for just an event or for every day. I don't really wear eye makeup every single day, um, but this, the products and the tricks that I've learned definitely help prolong it. I wouldn't say it stays the whole day through. It does require some touch up if you are somewhere um, that needs touching up. You know, if I wear it to work, I don't really have to touch it up because I don't use a whole lot. Um, it just depends on what the occasion is. If it's for everyday use, um, I use a little bit of makeup. If it's for an event of some sort, um, like going out on a date or anything minute, um, or even a big event. I'm not a fancy person, so I don't have a whole lot of events. But um, this might provide some help for you. Um, a little background. Um, I was diagnosed in 2013 and had surgery I was diagnosed in September, had surgery in October, um, and then I had another surgery in April of last year. Um, and then in May I had to have a shunt put in, which explains this wonderful little crazy growth of hair right there. Um, so anyway, um, the products that I use for my Base are usually just drugstore brands, um, CoverGirl, Maybelline, stuff like that. Um, but when it comes to my eyes, um, I have found that the more expensive products seem to last longer. Specifically, what I'm using right now is MAC. Um, I use MAC eyeliner, um, and it is waterproof eyeliner. Not that waterproof really matters much when it comes to the lacquer lube that goes in my eye because it's mineral oil based, but it does last longer than others. Um, so I use the MAC eyeliner. And my hands do shake, I'm sorry. MAC, um, and I'll link a description below. Um, eyeshadow that I use is also MAC. Um, this is just a holiday palette they had because I bought it in December right before Christmas. Um, but I, I use natural-ish colors with some sparkles and stuff in it. Um, and um, then I use this mascara which is awesome. Here I've noticed lately it's called um, Better Than Sex by Too Faced, and it seems to help a lot. Um, now, this isn't really a makeup thing, um, but for those of you um, out there who noticed with your eyelashes, I noticed with mine they became thinner and straighter um, because of what I was having to put in my eye. They, they come out all the time. I started using uh, Grand Lash. MD is a lash enhancing serum. Um, I bought it on Amazon. It was um, told to me by a friend who also has an acoustic neuroma. And I saw the way her eyelashes look. She did it before and after, after like three months, and it looked really good. And it has helped a lot with my eyelashes. So maybe give that a try too. Also, with the products, I think that, and this really seems to make a difference uh, finishing powder, mine fell and it's broken but normally it'll be compact. I have NYX Cosmetics that you can get MAC as well. I was actually looking for MAC and accidentally bought this. Um, so when I'm putting on my eye makeup I also have Q-tips and tissue 
tissue paper. Now, I've already put on foundation um, and done all my face stuff so far, um, but normally before I put on my foundation, if it's the morning, after, because in the night, at night I put on the lacquer lube. And um, so in the morning I wipe off as much of the excess as possible. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll close my eyelid and I'll hold it down and then I'll wipe and I'll wipe down into um, across the lashes as well and um, it's gonna leave like leftover down at the bottom here and I just wipe that off as well and um, the q-tips come in handy whenever you're having to wipe right here in smaller spots and I do do this very carefully and anytime I feel like my eye needs the rest I'll just close it and just give it a rest and kind of look from side to side with my eyes closed to kind of get whatever lubrication I have in there all over the place and uh, I'll give it time to just calm down a second um, when you're doing this you want to wipe off any excess as well it'll get right here and um, then I will put on first the eyeshadow, whatever color you want, really. Actually, I'm going to do my good eye first and then do the other one. So, when it comes to doing my bad eye, I will start with the eyeshadow. And a lot of times I'm holding my eyelid up since it doesn't want to go up. And I'll try to close my eyes as much as possible. And I try to get it close to the lash line. Now, before I go on to the eyeliner, I like to do my finishing powder first. And I usually just use my finger. I think I'm going to use a brush this time. I get a little bit. And um, I've come to find where it where it transfers is usually up here, but I'll also try to put some down here. And I'll do this again um, after I put on the eyeshadow. Um, sometimes it takes a little time if there's any residual lacquer lube left and it's transferring. I can notice it. Like I can already notice it right here after I wiped off earlier. Um, so then I will pull in the eyeliner and for both eyes, I, I pulled this out just a little bit and I try to get as close to the lash line as possible. So I just want to, just to enhance that line just a little bit. And I do go very slowly and carefully. I mean, I'm not in a rush when I do this. I try to be really precise because I have an uh, eyelid weight and it it can get on that sometimes. Um, now once I put on the eyeliner, I will again use the finishing powder, but I use a slanted brush like this and um, I'll put some on the end. I don't try to put a whole lot because I don't want I don't want it to lighten it, even though it lightens it a little bit. I try to do it as 
basically trying to find a perfect balance because if the finishing powder goes over it, it seems to mattify it and uh, lessen the transfer. Because it is supposed to be translucent, but... Now, with the eyelashes, they usually are straight on this side. I don't know if it's the um, eyelash serum or the mascara that I'm using or both, but here lately they've been curling out, so let's hope they stay like that. But sometimes I will curl them, and when I curl them, I try to close my eyes as much as possible while I'm doing it. And I would lift this up and try to get as many of these lashes in there because I don't know if you can see, but I've got some that still want to be straight. With the mascara, I'm again lifting this lid, this eyebrow, and I will carefully try to put it on and I try to get all the lashes in there I can. And I do this more than once because I want it to have more mascara than the other side because the other side has more lashes. I'll also go on top and just kind of turn it, kind of like a round hairbrush when you're blow drying. I was considering doing a second go back. Well, that looks okay. Looks a little bit even. So, that's usually it. Um, I have started here lately putting some finishing powder on the bottom because the the lacquer loop seems to come here and I, I try to pat as much as possible, not really slide. I've also started putting finishing powder under this eye because the makeup on the good eye seems to want to go down here and make a natural line. Um, but it makes it look like the underneath is lined, but the other side won't. So I try to limit transfer there as well. So. That's basically all I do. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope this helps somebody because I know that it frustrated me completely that there was nothing out there that I could look at. So, um, and if anybody's wondering, the type of lacquer lube that I use is Refresh. I've tried other brands like Sustain and stuff like that and it tends to, to bleed down more so. This a little bit goes a long way, and if I feel I need to reapply during the day, I'll put a very, very small amount in the corner here, and then um, like a really small amount in the corner, and then I'll put it right there, and then I'll close my eye, and I'll look back and forth, and just rub it around a little bit. So a little bit does go a long way. And the less you have to put on, the less it makes up your makeup. And um, there you go. I do carry these, the eye stuff, like the eyeliner and the um, finishing powder. I'll carry in my uh, purse if I need it sometimes. Um, I'd eventually like to get a set of two, one for the purse and one for it haul. But like I said, they're expensive. So... I usually only have one of each. Um, other than that, just if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I hope this helps.